Hi everybody, this is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Welcome, welcome. Um, we are going to do week four of our Learn to Crochet Together lessons. Um, today, I'm gonna give people maybe a second or two to hop on. Um, sorry that it's been so long. Everything's just so crazy right now, right? I feel like everybody's just all over the place and um, just trying to get back in the swing of things sort of, right? Um, but anyway, so we're here. We're gonna do um, a few things today. We're gonna do a review of the half double crochet stitch from the last time. We're going to review how to add a second color. I've got um, this really nice blue and then we're gonna add this orange to it. Um, so again, nice bright colors so you guys can see. Um, and then we're also going to learn how to finish your crochet project. So how to uh, kind of tie off the end, if you will, um, and kind of weave in your end so that nobody really sees them when you're done with your project. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I have a piece that I kind of already started with some double crochet. Um, and just give me a quick second. I am going to share this. Um, I'm going to share this video. Like, comment, share below. Um, let's spread the crochet love. Let's see here. Let us share, share, share. Oh, I don't want to share it as my as as count your stitches. That would be funny. Let's share this now so everybody can see it. Hopefully we can spread the crochet love. Oh, why isn't it showing me who's watching? Shugs. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see what we can do here. All right, so we are live. Let's see it going. All right, so here we go. Um, we're going to get going. We will start with the um, reviews, and then we'll add the finishing thing, and then um, just a couple things to chat with you guys about. Alrighty, so I'm going to move this, and we're going to flip around, and we are going to... How do I change my view? There we go. You think I'd know how to do this by now, right, guys? All right. Here we go. Let me just make sure everybody can see where we're at. Just position my camera. There we go. All right, so... Hi again, everybody. Um, so we are gonna uh, forgive my my nails, <laughs> um, and also forgive. I totally realized that I've worn this shirt in a live before. I swear I own other things, uh, but it's you know you ever kind of just fall into that. Oh, this fits really nice, and I like it, so I'm just gonna keep wearing it. That's that's where I'm at with this shirt right now. Um, all right, so um, I'm going to do. Um, a quick review of our half double crochet. So this is uh, two rows of double crochet. I did it uh, just before we started just to kind of get a head start. Um, so when we do a half double crochet, um, we're only going to chain one on the side for our little turn, our little, uh, our little side there. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and then here we go. So a half double crochet, just as a quick review for everybody, is when we rewrap, we go through the first stitch there, we wrap around, we bring it up, and now we have three loops on our hook, and we're going to wrap and bring through all three. So it is literally halfway between the single and the double crochet. Um, it is a preferred stitch of mine. I think it looks really nice for um, like scarves and bigger projects. Um, so again, we're going to wrap, going to head through there, right? Easy to see, especially I hope with this bright color, it's a little bit easier. Um, and then we're going to pull through. We've got three here, wrap and pull through all three. Hopefully you do it a little bit better than I just did. All right, so let's finish this row together of half double crochets, just so you can kind of see it in action. And then we will add a color, just so that everybody can review how to add a color. Or if you've run out of yarn, in, you know, you're gonna make a scarf or a blanket that's all the same color and you've run out, which does happen, um, and that's totally fine. Um, learning how to add a new color is the same as adding a new skein. Um, and what's cool about that is it allows you, you know, if you have remnants, you know, scrap yarn and things, knowing how to add a new skein, add a new color, add, just add a new little ball of yarn, um, allows you to use up those scraps. You know, just because you only have a little bit left doesn't mean you can't use it. Now, just a reminder, don't be intimidated by the end here. Um, you just find your two loops that you're gonna go under, you wrap just like you would normally, you just kind of fish it through there, up and through. All right, so now let's uh, chain one again and go back to, let's do a couple of half double crochets in the blue, and then we will add our new color. So I did 13 stitches here if anybody is wondering. Um, 
just so you can kind of see. And I am using a five millimeter hook, which is about an eye if you're using the letters. Oops, gotta watch my gauge there. Don't want to pull too loose. Don't want it to be too loose there. All right, let's do a couple more here. That way we can see um, see a nice change in the row. All right, so we're gonna get ready to add our orange yarn now. All righty. So reminder of how we do this: we get our blue ready. We're gonna start the stitch with the blue. We're gonna end the stitch with the orange. So we wrap. We go in. We pull through, we have got three here, or if you have a single crochet, you've got two here. If you have a double crochet, um, you will do this once you get to two left. Um, so once you get to, basically, I guess the best way to say it is, once you get to your final pull through of your stitch. So in a half double crochet, it happens right away. In a single crochet, it happens right away. In a double crochet, you'd have to pull through the first two, then this is your last time. Just kind of to run that through with everybody. Um, so we're gonna wrap. We are ready to pull our final strand through. So we put it down, we hold it behind. I'm gonna grab some, hopefully, I'm gonna grab some orange yarn back here. Just grabbing it, sorry. It got a little bit tangled. Alrighty, so we grab some orange yarn. We're gonna hold that ready to go. Give it a bit of a tail. That way you're ready. Hold that blue. Put that orange right on the hook here. Oh, come on, there we go. Whoops. And we're gonna pull that through, our three. So that now you're gonna work with your orange from now on. All right, let me show that one more time for everybody, just so that we can have a nice review. All right. I wonder why, I apologize if you're watching and I haven't said hello. For some reason, it is not showing me who is watching today, um, which is a super bummer because I like to say hi to everybody. So hello and thank you for watching. Um, so all right, we're gonna put the orange down for a sec. We're gonna wrap, go through, pull up, and then we're gonna put that blue back down, grab the orange kind of looped like that, and bring that right through. We have the orange loop there. Now, remember, we're gonna crochet using the piece that's attached to the skein. You have a tail, and you also have a tail. You can shoot, you, um, oh, yay, now it's showing me some. Hi, Michelle. Um, so you can cut this blue. Um, you know, if, I'm not going to because I'm gonna take this apart later. Um, but you can cut this if you're done, you know what I mean? Or if it's the end of the skein or whatever have you. So, all right, so now I'm gonna hold my two tails kind of in front here. Sorry, I was making sure everybody can see. All right, now we are going to wrap. We are going to go in, making sure that we are in front of our two tails. Go in here, making sure our two tails are now what we would say on top of our hook. Wrap around, making sure that that is going on top of our two tails. This is incorporating the tails into the stitch and then bring it through. So they're kind of stuck in the middle there. I don't know if you can kind of see how they're stuck in the middle. Um, and that's kind of a way to weave in your ends when you're changing skeins, adding a color, whatever have you. So let's do that a couple more times. So we're gonna wrap. We're going to go in that stitch so that we, our tails are now kind of on top of our hook. Wrap around, tail, that, that yarn went over the tails, pull it through, and do your normal stitch. And again, so they're kind of in the middle. So let me do this a few times so that you can see. All right. And, and now that we are nearing, are we at the end? We are nearing the end. One, uh, that might have, was that the end? This is why you need to count, because now I'm not sure. I think that was my end. Yeah, I think that was my end. Um, so, well, let's count. You know what, let's count. So we've got We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. See, this is why we count, because I had 13. So we're gonna find it. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. All right, I'm gonna fish it in right there on the end, make sure my tails stay in there. Actually, in this case, I think I'm gonna leave my tails out so that it's easier to sew them in later. I'll show you that in a moment. Oops, I didn't grab both. See how that's only one there? I didn't grab both. I need to go and try to find the other one. So there's one, and it looks like it's just about there. I gotta fish that hook into it. I don't know if y'all can see that. 
Let's see. Mm, boop, there we go. Now we've got two. See the difference? All right. Awesome. Bring that up and bring through. All right. I'm going to chain one, turn my work. So now let's talk about ending a project. Let's talk about weaving in ends. So you can see that we have two ends here that are just kind of hanging. Um, when you add a new, new color, new skein, whatever it is, um, you will end up with tails. I recommend kind of crocheting them in as long as possible because um, that's just the easiest way to hide them. If you still have some left, what we're going to do is, so we're going to pretend this blue one doesn't exist because I'm not going to cut it, but let's talk about the orange, although this is going to make it difficult for me to take back apart. So I've grist grabbed an embroidery needle. Um, you actually find it in the craft stores near the um, embroidery floss, the needle point, all that kind of stuff. Super inexpensive. Um, I try to get one that has a bigger hole um, so that way it's a little bit easier, but it is it's still a decent size that I can get it through buttons and things if I want to put buttons like on a mask adapter or anything like that. So, okay, let's grab, you're going to grab your yarn and you're just going to kind of fish it through that end. What I do is I tend to pinch it almost all the way at the end and I just kind of try to scooch it through there and it, it usually works. Um, this time it's split in half on me, of course. Of course, um, but let's give this a whirl here. See if we can get that to go. It's not gonna, oh, we did, we got it, okay. So now we've got it in our needle and all I'm gonna do is what we'd call sew our ends in. So I'm actually gonna probably just sew it maybe like under this loop and maybe kind of just go up here. You can kind of just fish it. Nothing huge. You can like tangle it, you know, and go around stitches and things to really try to get it in there. But since I'm gonna try to take this apart later, I'm actually just gonna leave it like that. Then you just take your take it off the needle, pull taut, and then you would just be able to cut this end right here and your end is sewn in. All right, so now let's say, um, so that's how you would just sew in a regular end. Same thing with like this little end here, right? This was at the bottom of my, hi Katie. Um, this is at the bottom um, of my project where I began, it was the end of the chain. So what I would do again is just grab this, put it on through that embroidery needle. Again, pinch and just kind of weave it through. Usually works, there we go. All right, and then for here, I'm probably just gonna I don't know, you can kind of just sew it into your ends. I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick it under here, maybe bring it, bring it like through a stitch. You can kind of see, I'm just kind of bringing it up through a stitch here. And for now, for me, that's good enough. Again, I'm gonna try to take it apart later. Um, so I take it off the needle, just pull it. And then actually what I recommend is pull this where it kind of scrunches up your work, give it a snip here and then pull taut and then that'll hide that little tiny end at the bottom of where you snipped it. So that's how we sew in our ends um, when we have something left, when we have something left over at the bottom from when you changed a color, anything like that. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to finish your work. So let's pretend that this is a beautiful blanket, scarf, anything like this. Um, what we're gonna do is, oh, excuse me, forgive me. Um, what we're gonna do is so we just finished our last stitch, right? So this was our last stitch. We finished our last half double crochet. We didn't chain, we didn't do anything. We just finished the last couple double crochet. What we're gonna do is now make one chain. So wrap around, all right? Super simple, guys. You have this one chain. This is the end. You are like, this is great, I am all done. You are going to pull it, all right? You are going to, here, I'm going to snip the end here because it's not too much yarn that I used. You're going to snip your end just like this right here. Love these scissors. Um, Joanne Fabrics, I believe. They have a little crane on them. Really cool. Um, really great with yarn. I snipped my end. What I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to pull that through. And then I'm just going to pull that tight. And then it, it's all tight for you guys. And then you've got your end all sewn, all done. All done. So now all that's left is to sew this end in. So let's grab again, embroidery needle. And fish that through the needle. 
Maybe, maybe. Nope, slip the yarn in half. Hold on. Let's try this again. Give it a whirl. We can do this. We can do this. Nope, not this time. Hold on. Nope. Sometimes I twist it. Ew, maybe. Uh, yeah, we did it. Okay, great. Awesome. All right. So, this one, I'm probably just going to maybe go right in the top here. And then, now, okay. Remember, this is orange. This is blue. You don't want to sew your end into a different color because you will notice it. Um, so, I'm probably just going to maybe fish it through some of this orange here. You can kind of see me just fishing it through here. And it came out right there. I'm going to pull. Oops. Going to pull it. Now I'm going to take it off the yarn, off the needle. Now, if you notice, it pulled my work a little bit, right? Um, it pulled the work here. It's a little bit tight. So I actually, we like that, right? It's going to allow us to then snip right here, discard or whatever you want to do with this, depending on how much you have left, and then just watch. See, so you see this little end here, right? Little nub. Watch it. It's going to disappear, and it just disappeared right into the work because I pulled taut. And now you have a beautiful finished piece. No end in sight. No end over here. Ignore the blue in the back. Ignore that. Actually, we can snip this now uh, because we decided to cut the yellow. So again, I mean the orange. So again, just pull tight. Pull tight. We're going to just uh, snip here. Snip right there. And then we are going to pull this back. That we see we have a nub right now. If we pull, the nub disappears. And you've got yourself a beautiful finished piece. It looks really nice. I actually quite like these colors together. I wish I had a reason. Um, I have a lot of orders right now, so I can't do anything for fun, but that's okay. Uh, well, it all is fun, but anyway, so that is how we finish our projects. That was a review of the, double, the half double crochet, how we change a color, and how we finish a project. If you have any questions at all, just comment below, um, send me a message, anything at all. I'm going to switch this back around so you can see me. Um, all right, here we go. Let's turn, 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 turn. There we are. Hello, hello. Yeah, so if you have any questions at all on how to do this, um, if there was anything that was confusing, um, just whatever, send me a message. Uh, or comment below. Make sure to spread the crochet love and sprinkle this. Um, share this with all your friends. Like this video um, so we can, again, spread that crochet love. And um, I wanted to just give you guys a quick little update on things. So uh, we have a lot of orders right now, both crochet. We have a couple of crafting orders too. Um, so we're going to be putting out a lot of different things that we're making. Um, everything that we make um, is it's either for sale the way I post it or you can order one custom, um, and I always kind of let you know when I post a picture of it. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, you can always place an order by either commenting on the, um, the picture to start, and then I'll message you, or just send us a message right away. Um, that's definitely the best way. Or if you'd like to, you, if you're watching this on replay um, and you're on the website, or on our YouTube page, um, if you'd like to go directly to, and you don't have a Facebook maybe, um, you can just go directly to our website email um, page and send us an order um, request. And yeah, so um, on Instagram, you can send it in a message as well. So that's totally fine. Um, but our email is always countyourstitches at gmail.com. Um, so anytime you have an inquiry, uh, if you have a order anything you want um, feel free to send us an email or again a message on Facebook or Instagram um, and I am going to do a live probably later this week I'm not quite sure when yet um, so just kind of keep your eye out turn on notifications for when count your stitches goes live um, on a, it's gonna be a little craft thing at these little metal hangers that I found um, that I'm gonna kind of turn into a cute little fall project um, so anyway keep your eye out for that and yeah, so that's everything for today. Again, like, comment, share. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, we will see you again soon. Enjoy your week, guys. It's supposed to be really nice weather. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Alrighty, be well, take care. And don't, and oh my gosh, I can't even. Ha! Huh. And always remember to count your stitches. Have a good one. Bye, guys.